Mr. Adinga, thank you so much for joining us on the program. I wanted to start out by asking you about these claims that you have made that the election systems have been hacked. What evidence do you have of this? Well, uh, we did produce um, evidence coming from uh, a printout from the server of the IBC. We showed clearly at what time the hacking was done uh, and how long the duration of it and uh, what kind of information, who were the, the people who, uh, or, or the kind of codes they were using. So this is a very authentic uh, information uh, that is uh, obtained from uh, uh, whistleblowers within the IABC. And yet the IBC is saying that there was an attempted hack, but that the attempt was not successful. Yeah, which I think that they're being very economical with the truth. Because as you know, we produce uh, 52 pages uh, of documents detailing out uh, what kind of information these people were able to get and what they were able to input. I think that... Uh, the IBC is not being truthful to the people of Kenya. Well, we've also spoken to Secretary of State, former Secretary of State John Kerry, uh, who said that he, along with other international observers who were there to monitor the election, did not see any instances uh, of what looked like voter fraud or anything like that taking place. Well, you see, uh, uh, the, the observers, as, as usual, they are more concerned with the cosmetic aspect of the electoral process. If you're basically talking about at what time were the polling stations opened, uh, how was the turnout, how was the process, the voting process itself, the counting at the polling stations, all that, of course, you say went very smoothly. Now, but the, the, the devil is in the detail, that is. We're basically talking about the transmission of the results uh, and the, the final the tallying. So I, I, don't, I think that those uh, observers are completely missing the point about the kind of aspect of rigging that we're talking about. But there is, of course, the point that the electronic ballots are backed up by paper ballots. There is a way to count all the individual paper ballots. Does that give you some comfort? Do you believe that when the paper ballots are individually counted, that you will be uh, announced as the winner of this election? See, what is happening is that the, the counting at the polling stations went uh, very smoothly. Uh, where we have a problem is the transmission of those results. So there is a complete total mess and confusion uh, because they did not follow the, the, the procedure. Uh, and this, is, in fact, is what should have concerned the, the observers. I think that the observers have not helped Kenya to resolve this dispute. They have confounded it by giving, basically, uh, an approval to a, a fairly flawed process. And therefore, I'm very disappointed that John Kerry and, 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 and the other observers. Well, we have seen violence in your country at election times before, most notably in 2007. More than 1,000 people were killed. Just yesterday, protests erupted, two people killed. Are you concerned that there could be more violence? And do you feel some degree of responsibility now for keeping your supporters calm? As you remember, yesterday, we did call our supporters to remain calm as... Uh, we try to find uh, a solution to this matter. We do not want to see any violence in Kenya. We know the consequences of what happened in 2008, uh, and we don't want to see a repeat of that anymore. And what will you do to ensure that, that there isn't a repeat of it? Well, you know, I, I don't control um, uh, anybody. I mean, uh, what is happening, people actually just want to see justice. Uh, and and we, we also hope that the security forces are not going to use excessive force that will uh, translate into loss of lives of innocent people, like happened yesterday. I think uh, uh, basically protests or peaceful demonstrations are allowed in any democracy, and Kenya is not an exception.